Dr. Christy Ennis. Functional fitness is crucial because it focuses on movements that mimic everyday activities. So you will enhance your ability to perform daily tasks with efficiency and here's key, a reduced risk of injury. So you're going to help improve strength, flexibility, coordination, balance, all of it. So we're gonna get started. You do need a chair or something sturdy to sit on and then something to step up on as well, a step, an encyclopedia if you're old like me, or a phone book, again, if you're old like me, you know what those are. Something with a little bit of height to be able to step onto. Exercise one is a sit to a stand to help literally going from sitting and standing, right? The lower the surface is, the harder it tends to be. So we're gonna work on that. So the step one, or the easiest level here, a higher surface, grabbing onto those handles, right? <clears throat> and then you're actually sitting your butt down. And then when you go to stand back up, hands on those handles, giving a little bit of a push to come all the way back up slow and controlled. Now, if you want to start to advance that a little bit, make it a little bit harder, you can go ahead and not hang on to the handles, put those hands right on the lap. So you're still getting a little bit of help, but not a lot of help, right? And then even harder is, look ma, no hands, sitting all the way back down, making sure of course you know where the chair is, and then standing all the way back up. Now, if you want to make this again harder and harder, step one would be to go to a much lower or at least a little bit lower surface and do that same motion. And then step two would be to do a staggered stance where you go with one foot forward a little bit. And then the last level, which is the hardest, is a single leg. And so same idea, but you're just doing it on one leg at a time. Goal would be to do about 10 to 15 repetitions, and you can do this a couple times a day. Exercise two is a step up to help with stairs, things like getting in and out of the car, obviously anything you need to step up onto. So starting with the basic, you can do a nice low surface, like this 1980s Reebok step, or grab, like I said, some sort of book. You're just gonna take one leg, you're gonna think about as you go to push off, you wanna use this leg that's on the step as much as possible. If you need to, to start with, you can use this back leg, right, to help you out. And then as you're stepping up, you wanna think, squeeze that quad and that glute to get you all the way straight, right? So if you do need a little extra help with this, you can go ahead and hang on to something, right? Um, whether it's a wall or something relatively sturdy, even a cane if you've got one that's high enough. To make it more difficult, you can make a higher surface, right? So that you're stepping up even higher. Or if you want to make it even a little bit more difficult for you, you can add in a little bit of a squat. So if I come up and then go ahead and add that little bit of a squat there, whew, the other option would be to put both feet on that step and then come up onto those toes to work on that ankle range of motion and strength as well. Next exercise is to help you get things either off the ground or off of a low shelf or something low. So to do this one, you're gonna step it back. You're gonna step back and then you're gonna add that rotation, right? So as if I was picking something up off the ground. So kind of level one is that back leg is relatively straight. So we're only picking something off a medium <laughs> size shelf, right? To make it a little bit harder and so that you can get down a little lower you're gonna lunge down even a little bit more and then add that rotation and come back up. Now for this one, you can go ahead and add a weight, right, to stimulate the um, actually picking something up. You also, which takes a little bit more balance, is doing more of a single leg or partial deadlift and then going to pick that weight up. So shoot for about 10 to 15, of course, on each side. Next one is a single leg balance to help when you need to get your shoes on or your pants on or just stand on one leg. No, really and truly for those functional activities of getting dressed. So level one is standing just on that leg, making sure there's a little bend in that knee and you're just bringing this opposite foot off the ground, okay? Now, if that is too much to start with, there are a couple easier ways to make this <laughs> easier. <laughs> so you can take and just rest those toes on the ground. So you're doing most of the work with one leg, but the other leg's helping to support a little. You could wrap it behind the leg, that works too. Or if you need to, even just start out with a narrow base here, right? And then that makes it a little bit easier. 
If you want it to be harder, you're gonna go ahead and lift that leg up even more. Again, right, think about when we're getting dressed, we do have to have that leg up relatively high, right? Ooh, see as I start to lose my balance here too. So see how long you can hold this for. Goal would be a minute, and that's a long time, but do what you can do here. This last one is to help if you have to get something off of a high shelf, right? Opposite of the low shelf. Pretty obvious, I guess. So you're gonna start feet facing forward, and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pivot this foot as I go to reach up. So level one is just come right back in, right? You obviously can do this with weight also if you wanna make it a little harder. And then if you want to go a step beyond that, you're gonna add that little bit of a squat in, right? So here, and then squat it. And then the hardest one would be here and then squat through, right? So you can go high shelf to low shelf <laughs> and vice versa. So again, 10 to 15 on each side. If you're not sure if these exercises are right for you or really where to go, check out my membership for some personalized advice and guidance.